Hi guys, so today is June 30th here in Little Squalicum Park in Bellingham. And I'm with my next challenge taker. And I want you guys to meet Aisha. Hey y'all. So <laughs> what made you want to come out and take on my challenge? Well, first of all, I know a few people that suffer from the fibro and they do smoke marijuana and that seems to be the thing that helps them in every aspect you know so i'm representing them and i just think that it's so awesome that you are doing this like i told you earlier you got balls man like i i think it's awesome and i just want to support and share my experience with you know marijuana and other mental you know things as well that other people go through right on right on well thank you so much all right guys um let's get this walk started yeah i'm on this walk down to tijuana and today's day two of it i'm at a let's see i did 15 miles yesterday and by the when we finish this walk here, I will walk 10 miles today. Great spot. That's nice. So, um, I want to ask you, how long have you been smoking cannabis? Since I was 14. Wow. Any specific reasons that you use cannabis? Beforehand, when I was younger, I did it recreationally. Um, but now, when I got into my late teens, I got diagnosed with major depressive disorder, anxiety. And so, ever since then, I have leaned more on that for medical purposes um, because I used to be lost in other things that weren't so good for you. Okay. Um, what was it like battling that before using cannabis? Hell. Uh, it's like being trapped in your own brain, kind of. Yeah, that's, it's, that's what I could call it, hell. And um, what about now after? How does, how does cannabis, how's cannabis helped? It keeps me more calm and I can go about my day and just be happy. You know, just be more cheerful instead of being more angry, you know, and bitter. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so I have to ask uh, any specific strains that you find helpful? Oh, God's gift. Really? Something about that strain, and it's I've always been an indica person, indo, not outdoor. Um, something about that strain just keeps me on a good, mellow, just neutral, not you know, in the couch or too stony baloney, you know, giggly. It just it's a really good mellow, right? It almost kind of reminds me of a CBD, but it's just indica, it's THC. Okay, well, I gotta ask you why the walk to Tijuana? Well. I've always wanted to walk border to border and uh, every single time I, I do a walk, there's some reason or other that I need to catch a ride. Either I've got to get a ride around a mudslide or um, I might only have like just a couple miles to do and if I get to town in like 20 minutes, I can hit up a store and get a hot meal. Um, so while I won't stand there with my thumb out, if a ride happens to stop, well, I'm wishing for one. I kind of have to look at like the universe helping me out. So, right. you know. And listen to it. Right. Listen to it. So this time around though, I want to try to walk every mile as I've wanted to do with every single other walk. But, you know, mm -hmm. this time border to border, it's going to keep me a little bit more um, motivated mm -hmm. to try to really stick by that. And of course, you know what? If I can't 
it doesn't matter. The fact is, is the the fact that I got up to try this mm -hmm. makes me a success. I'm not sitting there in bed wishing life to be different. I'm out here making it different. I think if you take your time and if there's days where you gotta rest, yeah. screw it. Take those yeah. days to rest. Don't even edit. Just take a day to rest and yeah. smoke and, and then just get, you know, keep, keep going. Yeah. yeah, because this is, I, you got some balls, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I can walk, but good God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I go when I go, I stop when I stop. Uh, guardrails are godsend, literally. Yeah, I've done taking three naps today and I've walked, uh, well, when I finish this, like I said, it'll be 10 miles um, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the other reason too is uh, I got a friend down in Ensenada. Mm -hmm. She's gonna let me come stay at her place for as long as I need to. So what I'm gonna do is this walk down to Tijuana I'm turning into a documentary. You know, I've been walking up and down the coast for five years. I got about three or four years of video footage, uh, terabytes upon terabytes of footage. And so what I've decided I'm gonna do is I will film this as my documentary of me walking down. And as I stop at various points, I know that I'm gonna recall some of the awesome things I've experienced um, and <laughs> took video footage of. So I will cut that into the documentary. I'm telling you, and wait, then and wait. then along the way, and then along the way, as I'm doing that, I'm still challenging people, to inviting people to come out and take and walk a mile with me. Mm. So I'll be stepping off the road or stepping off the the trail or whatever um, to do some of that as well. And those I'll be filming as episodes. So I'm pretty much filming a documentary and creating my own series, um, along with listening to the the radio edits so I can give the, the thumbs up and go ahead and do all my own promo. Plus do all this walking <laughs> while having fibromyalgia. I'm a fucking beast mm, trooper, and bro. I don't know how trooper. I do it other than one man's obsession is another's inspiration. And I'd you rather- You have a point, you have a goal. I'd rather do this than be stuck in bed. Pretty much. I was trying to die otherwise. Now yeah. I'm fighting to live, I'm fighting to create, you know, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. you know, I needed to create an existence worth fighting for, worth fighting through the pain for. So that's what I've done. Yeah. You know, on my journey, I come across, I meet up with these people that I call humans with wings. They're angels, but they're humans with wings. Um, do you have any stories a time when humanity has stepped up to help you out. I was 14 years old at the time. I'm um, going to Sylvester Middle School in Barron, Washington. Hey. Um, and I went to a school dance that they had Saturday nights. And this is a time when my um, folks weren't doing so hot. So I was kind of out and about, kind of by myself. Okay. And um, Berrien, you know, west side of Seattle, not such a good place for a 14 year old to be out at night by herself, right? Right. Uh, my mom's boyfriend was supposed to give me a ride home. And it was, I think it was about a three, four mile walk, five mile walk. Okay. Um, well, pretty, pretty good distance for. Yeah. And so I was literally in that parking lot until about, I think, one or two o'clock in the morning by myself just waiting and I guess what happened with him is he got too drunk and forgot to come get me oh, so basically I got stranded and this woman she I guess was looking for her daughter she came into the parking lot at the right moment because the bus has stopped running in that particular area over by Highline Hospital it's right across from the school um she asked me if I needed a ride and I usually have a good you know, sixth sense when it comes to people and vibes. I go all vibes. And something told me that I could trust her and, and I could get in the car. And she took me actually to my best friend's house because I didn't want to go home that night. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's that's pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know if she found her daughter, but yeah. Wow. I hope she found her daughter. I know. Yeah. Well, they, that's, yeah. Miss, if you, miss, if you're seeing this, and you remember this story? Contact us. I know she would like to say thank you. Well, yeah, because she, I don't know. Cause total human with wings. 
it was very random too because nobody was driving around that street either it was yeah, yeah. wow wow yeah. right on right on yeah. well my body feels a mm. oh my kidding my body hurts like a motherfucker Oh, that backpack is heavy. I haven't really walked like I've been walking these last two days. And over that backpack here. is a goddamn monster. Uh, I told him pop it in the car before we go on a walk. Hell yeah. no. Uh, that thing's a beast. Yeah, so all up in here. Yeah. My shoulders. I know I'm partially sunburned, even though I used sunscreen yesterday. Luckily, I used sunscreen yesterday. If I hadn't, I'd been screwed right now. There'd be no way I could lift up my backpack. Mm. Um, and then my back, my lower back feels bruised. I wouldn't be surprised if there were bruises there, but then again, it is fibro, so uh, too much pressure. It just feels like you're bruised. You know, it mm. feels like you've been punched. That's kind of how my body feels right now. It feels like I've been punched all over. It's that's what my friend, that's what my bestie Jessica says. She says she feels like she's been beat up. And yeah, I want to quit. I want to give up. I want to give up every single day. Yeah. But it's the magic. I know I'm going to meet some really great people who are going to keep me uplifted. Um, I know that I'm going to see some really awesome stuff, like some really cool cars and cool trees and wildlife and animals and eagles and dolphins and otters and waking up on beaches and the only way i'm going to get there is by putting one foot down in front of the other and so through my pain through my tears through gritting teeth i just do it i take breaks when i have to like after this I'm going to a friend of mine's house who lives right nearby, and I'll be staying the night there, crashing there for the night, um, giving my body a little bit of rest. I'm exhausted. I really need to get some sleep. I got a bunch of work to do, too. These video edits, you know, they got to be um, taken care of and shit. Editing my... takes way longer than people think. Oh, man. Don't under underestimate this man. Uh, Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm doing... I'll come find you. <laughs> I do my own background music, too, <laughs> at this point. Serious. I create my own background music, too, at this point. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm really doing it doing all it. I know. Doing it. But I love it, and that's why I do it. I know in the end, Alzheimer's runs in my family. So. I, I work with a lot of Alzheimer's patients. I know end, exactly what that's like. That is. In the end, I want to be able to sit and watch these videos and wonder what happens to that fucking crazy fucking son. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe, Where is he going? Maybe I'll remember it's me. <laughs> who but if I don't, girl? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's going to be some cool you're gonna shit. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Because you're you know what? It. I really love watching my own videos. And it's not a matter of that it's me. I love seeing the cool shit that, it ha that happens to this dude. You know? And I'm just an average man. I mean, a lot of people don't see me as that because of what I do is pretty superhuman. But the fact is, is that we all have that within us. Mm -hmm. That's one reason I invite people to come out and I take that challenge. Take that challenge. Let me try to show you what it is that I see and maybe let you discover something within yourself and let it, let it take you and propel you. That's what I hope my walks do for people, right. especially when they come out on them with me. I hope that they take what they, they experience or if they've, if they've learned anything to let, let it propel them in life. Let them help them. Let it help them put one foot down in front of the other, even when you don't feel like it. I don't know what it was, but I, I knew I knew that I had to come and do the challenge with you just to even spread the word because I've seen what it looks like firsthand. The fire bro, the anxiety, the depression, the bipolar disorder the you know the everything everything in between and cannabis is really really an amazing medicine it truly is and, and i've never there. seen anybody od on this shit yeah yeah all right well let's get a let's go get this walk finished all right or let's started go. i think we just kind of barely started Here's a couple. You want one? Rather 
raspberry? No, these are thimble berries. Oh, thimble berries. They are so freaking good. And that's why you won't find them in the stores. They don't hold up really well. Because when you pull it off, it's kind of like a little thimble. Different. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it'd make a great jam. Hmm. But they've got, they've got these big leaves. And uh, this is what they look like before they ripen. They crumble super easy. Oh yeah, and that's why they don't sell them in grocery stores. Mm -hmm. I would smash up a lot of those and like mix it with like like syrup, like pancake syrup. Mm. Or mm. like make um, not necessarily a jam, but like a, compo a compote? Like with, with like with honey. Okay. Like a spread type, I don't know. Mm. Cause that's like a sweet, tangy, yeah, it's different, but it's not bad. Glad you like. Mm. They're definitely one of my favorite. Yeah. And now There's that you see them. them, you will see them everywhere. And the cool thing is, now most people don't edible. know about it. Yeah, no, I just learned something now. I didn't know that. Ready to... Yeah, cherries. Hey. <laughs> there you go. What mm. do you think? Yeah. Bomb. Mm. Yep. So thimbleberries and cherries today, y'all. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Alright, well let's continue on the walk. about the halfway point. So how you feeling? I'm feeling good, sun is shining, glowing on the skin, getting some vitamin D. Oh yeah. Smoke some weed. Yeah, my body's starting to finally loosen up a little bit. But if I stop, or when I stop, getting back, or getting up and going again, it's gonna be really difficult. I've really been putting my body through it these last two days. This is windy as hell, but it's beautiful. It feels so great. Really beautiful walk. It is. I love this walk and I love that beach. That's my thinking beach. Right on. Right on. Take my shoes off, put my foot in the sand, and peace, serenity. Yeah. No stress, no worry about bills, people, items, all that.
we're about done. We're almost done. We're near the end. Yeah, as a matter of fact, here's our starting point. We did it. Yeah. Well, we did it. We did a mile. Oh, fuck yeah. We did it. So, what did you think of the walk? I thought it was great. We swapped stories. Uh, we just had a connection and we got to know each other. We found cherries and I learned about a new berry today. So, I can't complain. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, on that note, and as always, guys, it's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Come walk a mile with Seth and he'll show you some magic. Yes, guys, I challenge you to come out and walk one mile with me and I will show you magic. Much love and much peace to you all. And those of you out there that want to come walk with me and for whatever reason can't find your way to me, I challenge you to go out and walk one mile. Um, find, one of, find an amazing spot where you live. Go discover the magic in your own backyard. And then send me a couple of video clips telling me where you are, showing me where you are, and uh, telling me what you're battling through. And if you use cannabis, tell me how cannabis helps you. Send me a couple of them video clips and I'll add them into the end of my other episodes and I'll add on your mile to the challenge. Come walk a mile with Seth and he'll show you the magic.